Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Loading. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at um, the creation of this um, kind of like a 3D type, and I call it the the warm type typography because it's it's looking kind of like a warm. Um, this is actually quite simple. Um, it's not that it's not so complex that it's, this is something that you have learned already uh, previously probably. Um, I just combine some of the techniques. Uh, re remember that um, we already know how to make like a live text to work with SphereChop and this is kind of the same idea um, I still have like live text in the background and then I'm using the data of the text and then uh, use the points inside SphereChop and the worm itself is basically just um, like a lines um, I don't know I think maybe I got to this points like uh, uh, like accidentally but uh, it's actually quite quite simple I just need to okay I'll have to make this slightly simpler I guess let's use letter S so we have this uh, really lightweight um, very low resolution objects maybe a little bit more back to spread chalk and refresh we should get our worms okay they are a little bit menacing but they are pretty simple simple to create so I will break down this uh, worm text file set as um, basically the text text objects being loaded into SpreadShop and make sure the post modifier is on because we are using a uh, we are using rematch modifier and then this guy is being loaded into spreadsheet. Of. We wanted um, the post modifier data. And then once we bring it to spreadsheet, of, what happened next is the this the, the text points basically it's gonna be uh, used to uh, duplicate um, line. Then the line itself is being pushed by by the factor noise right here so this is the like I did this like um, a couple of times already so this should be pretty simple um, if I go like backward I actually I actually start with a line a single line currently I have a 12 line but if I turn it into one see see what we get it's just like um, a single points but if I increase the number we start to get something that looks like warm. Um, that's because of the thanks to the skin measure as well here. It's doing the hard work in the background to generate this warm. Now I'll make it thinner. Okay, so that's a little bit interesting, more interesting. But I I probably need to increase the resolutions. But that's that's okay for now. What happened at the end is just skin measure. I join the mesh, so they they are all a single, just a single objects instead of having like a thousands of objects in the scene, and they are really really fast this way. Um, I have this matrix apply and whatever. This is like the end part. This the node setup itself is really really simple. Um, you see, it's just line, line, and then I have this. Uh, the factor of the line being um, added with the with the noise actually um, there is this uh, like a seed that randomized the thing so don't worry about that for now but this is um, the line and then the line get this add so the line actually being pushed through the noise and the noise itself have a very small value of multiplier. If I make this too big, um, the worms will no, no longer resemble the text. It's just like going to be like a random worms all over the place. But because I'm using small value, it looks like the, the lines kind of being pushed just slightly. So the lines actually being instanced on every point of the text and so hence that result oh currently spreadshop seems to be hanging there wonder why 
because I'm actually doing a render in the background as well so maybe that's not a good idea this guy doesn't seem to be rendering this guy seems to be frozen so I'm gonna just quit it back to this guy okay too high of noise seems doesn't seem like a good idea so I'm gonna terminate all blender I'm gonna start again um, since I start from scratch maybe I can show you uh, the process with the uh, with the worms I think I I show it to you at some point in the previous live noting if you have like a line and then you pass it through the noise you're gonna get warm it's pretty basic simple concept noise viewer draw so line pass into the noise and and connect the line using the UV connection edges so two lines See that that doesn't look like warms, but if we reduce the step like 0 0.02, we start to get warm. That's actually what's what's going on. And if we push the with the we push the line like using move or whatever like using addition, we're gonna have warms. And with the text, of course, it's the same thing. It's just uh, we have more more lines and then everything is doing doing it at the same time and this can also be like a snake if you ever watch a movie um, snake on the plane I think this is sort of the same idea just increase the length of the the, uh, the warmth and we get something that looking like a snake maybe if we have like a like an actual snake model you can use this kind of idea so I quite like this um, this result actually I can smooth it uh, smooth it from the modifier and I'm gonna take a screenshot of this oh ambient occlusion already on so that seems to be okay it's kind of nice looking warm I might do a render but or just like a animated gif of this so I'm gonna give you this setup um, it's very simple in in order to do this you just need to provide like a text uh, text object and then everything's gonna work right away okay so that's pretty much it for this um, live noting it's a simple thing it's another side project um, hopefully you like this one um, let me know in the comments below uh, your suggestion or whatever question just let me know um, I'll answer as soon as possible thanks again for tuning in I'll see you in the next video